Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today's plan with me is going to be for the week of May 21st through May 27th and this week is going to be really different because I'm memory planning the entire thing. Today is already Sunday the 27th and as you can see there's absolutely nothing on my planner so I um, for some reason, and I can't quite explain why, I just really wasn't feeling like planning this week. And I don't know if you guys have experienced that as well, where you just kind of go through like a, I don't know, planning rut or a planner block or something where you just don't feel like sitting down and planning. So that's what happened to me this week. Um, but anyways, I am really excited to plan right now because yesterday on Saturday, I met up with some planner friends and it was just really fun talking to them um, about like planning related stuff. And I think that gave me some motivation to plan again today. So um, one of the girls that I got to meet up with was Denise from Paper and Milk. So I thought it'd be really perfect to use her kit for this week. I was originally gonna save this kit for the following week because um, Memorial Day is on um, Monday, so the 28th. And so I originally thought this would be perfect for Memorial Day because of like the red, white, and blue color scheme. But seeing as I got to hang out with Denise yesterday, I just felt like it was very appropriate to pull in one of her kits for the week that we got to hang out. So um, I'm gonna quickly go over the um, stickers that are in this kit. It's definitely a full kit. So here we've got four full boxes. We have four half boxes, quarter boxes. I love these little banners with the stars and the hearts. And then we have today headers. On this page, we have another four half boxes. We have sidebar trackers, to-do headers, some hearts, all these circle icons, a couple pieces of deco, a weekend banner, and then the heart check flags. Here we have the other four full boxes. They're super cute. This one says, keep calm and listen to the sea. The only downside is that I didn't go to the beach at all this week, but that's totally fine with me. Um, we've got some circles here. We have three heart checklists, um, these third boxes, arrows, important, hello. We have some flags, a coffee sticker, and then these quarter boxes on the bottom. On this page, we have some extra headers at the top, a couple more pieces of deco. We have seven heart checklists and then a sidebar tracker. On this page, we have some of her text stickers. We have some canceled and rescheduled stickers and all her little things, which I really like. And the little things headers are on this page as well. And then the last page has the bottom washi, which is two different strips that you can layer. We've got the movie marquee, a bill do sticker, some more um, icons and text stickers. And then I think these are little washi strips. So definitely a lot of stickers to work with. And I love that she um, is so smart about her formatting and fits in so many things. I mean, like even just a couple pieces of deco there, that's perfect. She like wastes no space. So I love that. And um, yeah, so as usual, I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi and um, I'm going to take it from there. So if you're interested in watching me plan, go ahead and stay tuned. I ended up realizing that the bottom washi was one whole strip with the pink and the blue and not two separate strips like I had expected. So I'm sorry about my mistake earlier. Um, I moved to the sidebar and put down the quote box in my top corner as I usually like to do. Then I use a glitter header from Mandy Dreams to separate the full box from the rest of my sidebar. I put down a habit tracker to track my working out. And then I used a Monday, or I'm sorry, I used a heart checklist from the kit to track my happy moments of the week. The happy moment sticker I just put down is from Paper and Milk. And I'm not sure that she sells those ones anymore because I think somebody recently said that they couldn't find it in the shop. So um, they might have been discontinued. At the bottom, I used a dinner's header with the Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit to track all of my dinners for the week and because I was memory planning this spread I was able to put down pretty much all of my dinners already um, before I even started Monday so now I'm moving on to Monday and the first thing I put down is a glitter header from Mandy Dreams the coffee time sticker is from paper and milk as well and then I put down a full box with a today header um, and heart checklist layered on top of it to mark my work to do's for Monday Underneath that, I used a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I used a strip of washi with a gold foil heart sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that. Um, that was the day Denise and I uploaded our collab plan with me. And then I filmed when I got home. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. And then to write film plan with me, I actually used a Tombow brush lettering pen. Um, and I really like the way that that turned out. 
I put down little things at the bottom to mark that I was like very inspired because I had watched Hamilton the night before. And so, um, I don't know. I just love when I get like those bursts of inspiration. So I just had to mark it in my planner. Moving on, I put a to-do header at the top of Tuesday with a heart checklist for my to-dos. And then I used a little things to mark my lunch. I actually covered up the icon part with a Chinese takeout sticker from Plans with Vanessa. And then I moved to the bottom and placed down a full box there. Then I moved back to the top and added a glitter header um, above the little things. After work, I actually went on a run, which is really exciting because it's been a while. Um, I used a third box with a shoe sticker, and I think that's from Sticker Sis, but I might be wrong because I haven't run in so long that I haven't really been using any of my shoe stickers. On the full box at the bottom, I used a pillow sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that I slept early that night because um, the next day was going to be super busy and I wanted to get a good night's sleep. Then on top of that, in the remaining empty space, I put down a munchkin from Once More With Love. And then I used the same brush lettering pen to write lazy um, because I wanted to write lazy night. And then for night, I used the marker end of my Tombow Dual Brush pen, I think is what it's called. Then for Wednesday, I had four Four meetings on Wednesday, so it was a really, really busy day. I brush lettered meetings on a quarter box and stuck it at the top. For my first IEP, I put that on a half box with an IEP flag. Again, those are from Lily Grove Designs. I had a second IEP right after that, so I used another flag. And then my third meeting was um, a different type of meeting. It was called a 504, it's just a different type of meeting that we hold for students. And um, for that one, I used a quarter box with a circle sticker to mark the time of that meeting. Then my last meeting was another IEP, so I put that on another half box with the flag. I decided to switch out the color of the IEP flag um, earlier in the day, so I switched it to a navy blue one. And of course, after the day was over, I was so exhausted when I got home. I used this tired panda sticker, and I think that's from Very Jenny Co., um, to mark just being exhausted. And then I did make sandwiches for dinner, so um, I used a burger sticker from Paper and Milk, which is so adorable, and I figured it could totally pass as a sandwich. Um, at the end of the night, we watched Terrace House, so I used a third box to mark that, and that um, emoji watching TV is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then moving to Thursday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and then I used a three heart checklist for my to-dos of the day. I put down a full box underneath that and brush lettered staffing because I had two staff meetings that day, um, which aren't so bad, but there's still meetings that I have to attend to, and it does take up a lot of time. So to mark those, I used uh, little flags that came in the kit, and I just put the time of the meeting on top of the flags. I had some extra space there at the bottom, so I just cut off the rest of the full box. And then I did stop by my my P.O. box that afternoon to check for Happy Mail. So I put down a Munchkin Happy Mail sticker from Once More With Love. And originally I had brush lettered P.O. box, but for some reason I didn't like it and I whited it out. Um, even though right now when I'm looking at it, it looks so cute and I don't even know why I did that. So I'm really bummed um, that I chose to change it. But anyways, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. I used a half box under that to mark date night, again using the same brush lettering pen. Um, the gold foil heart sticker I just put down is from Clever Gal Crafts, and then we did relax for the rest of the night, so I put down a quarter box. The relax script sticker is from Thule Plans, and then we watched Terry's House at the end of the night. We have moved on to the next series, which is Opening New Doors, um, and I don't like it quite as much as the other one, but it's still really good to watch. But um, anyways, I used a TV sticker, I think from Brandy Shop, to mark that. On Friday, I wanted to mark TGIF, of course, because I love Fridays. Um, the cheerleading girl is from Art Box Stickers, and I think she's so adorable. And then I brush lettered TGIF on that box. I got coffee on Friday before going to work, so I put that on a quarter box. The coffee sticker is from the kit, and then I put down a little things header with a heart checklist for my to-dos of the day. Um, after that, I used a glitter header from Mandy Dreams with a three heart checklist to mark some places that I went to after work. And and the little like peach car sticker is from the kit. On Friday night, my friends and I decided to do a picnic in the park. Um, so it was just this little girl's night and we had like 
wine and cheese and like beer for me, of course, and like charcuterie and everything. Um, so to mark that, I used a half box and the remember sticker I stuck on top just because there was like extra white space in between. And then the wine sticker that I just put down is from Kylie and Chaos. And yeah, it turned out to be a really fun night. So I'm really glad that we did that. And then moving on to the weekend, I started by putting the weekend banner at the top. And I think this weekend banner is so, so cute with the little sea creatures surrounding it. And originally I had put the full box with the starfish at the bottom of Saturday, but later on I do remove it because Saturday turned out to be a super busy day and I needed to conserve space. So I started by using a little things and um, putting down a car sticker or like a little car icon to mark that I picked up Shira from Love Shira at the train station. Um, the two of us drove up to LA together to meet up with Denise from Paper and Milk and uh, Vanessa from Plants with Vanessa. And we just had like a little planner girl day, which was really fun. First we got brunch. So I put that on a half box and the gold foil heart sticker is from White Deer Stationery. Under that, I had initially put down arrow stickers from the kit and then just wrote down their names um but later on I did have to remove that because I didn't have space for everything that that I wanted to mark I then used a glitter header and put down that starfish full box. I did cut off the bottom part of it and um, on top or like in the top section where there's a little bit of empty space, I used a planner sticker from the kit to mark that we were chilling on the lawn because we went to the Grove, which is a mall in LA and they have this like little lawn area with like blankets and everything. So we just kind of like set up there and um, exchanged planners to look at. That's how I ended up getting a Hobonichi because Vanessa had brought hers and I really, really liked it. So I do use that to do my daily journaling now. Um, but anyways, it was so much fun just like hanging out and chatting and everything. So we had a good time. And like I said, I did end up removing the arrow stickers because after our little planner girl date, I did have to attend a goodbye party for one of my friends who's moving away from California, which is so sad. Um, so I needed to make room for that. Um, I used a quarter box to mark that and the little heart balloons are from the kit. Originally I put down four hearts, but I realized we actually went to five different places and so I re-added one of the hearts back in did a little sticker surgery there and I just wrote down all the places that we went for drinks for dinner boba and then more drinks after dinner and um, also used a couple little icon stickers to um, just add some deco so the sushi sticker is from paper and milk and then the drink sticker I put at the bottom is from Kina Prince that is it for my very busy Saturday. And then for a Sunday, I used a glitter header at the top and then I cut down a full box to um, about half because that's really all I needed. The Korean barbecue sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. And then I used uh, my brush lettering pen to write in that we attended a birthday lunch for one of our friends. And then afterwards we went and got some beer at a brewery nearby. So I used a um, beer sticker and that is from a happy blue tree. Before we went home, we stopped by Target to pick up some things that we needed. So I used a Target run sticker and that's from Love Shira. And I just realized right now that I was able to pull in stickers from the shops of all three girls that I met up with this week, which is perfect because I got to see all of them and use their stickers in my spread. Um, anyways, under that, I used a third box and layered over it the Lazy Day sticker from the kit to mark that we were just kind of lazy afterwards, which was really nice for me because I felt like I had such a busy go, go, go kind of weekend. Um, and it was nice to have some downtime. At the bottom, I used a half box with a TV watching munchkin from Once More With Love. And then above that, I cut up a little flag to fit up the space and um, put down a little meal icon to mark where we got some groceries and um, got dinner. So we just went to the local grocery store to pick up like ready to eat food because we just didn't feel like cooking that night. And then um, that's it for my spread. The last things that I'm doing is just filling out the happy moments in my sidebar and then filling out like my last dinner on Sunday and then sprinkling some deco at the top of my spread. And I love the deco sizes that Denise includes. They're just like perfect and little so that they fit really nicely at the top of my planner. Sometimes when the deco pieces are too big, I really have a hard time pulling them into my spread. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left. I do have quite a lot. And so that is it for this week, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I personally really love this because every time I look at this spread, I just think of how much fun I had um, over the weekend and getting 
to see the planner girls and everything. So yeah, I was really glad that I decided to use this kit a week earlier than I had originally planned. But anyways, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and just leave them in the comments down below. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I am slowly catching up with all my plan with me. So you should be expecting more videos to come in the near future. Hope that's some exciting news. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.